guys, Jeff, and welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna be talking about these things. These are propeller guards for the DJI Mini 2 that I just recently ordered and I wanted to try them out today, tell you what I think about them and just go flying around the house to have a little fun. Before we get into any of that though, I just wanna address the question that I don't have an answer for and that I know everyone's gonna be asking and that is what is the compatibility between the propeller guards for the Mini 1, the Mini 2 and their actual drones? My answer to that is I don't really know. From what I've seen in various videos, apparently you can use the propeller guards from the Mini 1 on the Mini 2. So I have no real reason reasons to doubt that you could use the Mini 2 propeller guards on the Mini 1. Why is there even distinction? When you go to a DJI store, those are actually six bucks more expensive than the Mini 1 propeller guards. Why that is, I have no idea. The only reason why I went with the more expensive Mini 2 propeller guards, the bespoke ones, instead of buying the less expensive Mini 1 propeller guards that everyone was saying would fit anyway, is just because in the very extreme and odd cases that I would have been a revision that would have made it impossible for me to fit them, I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of having to return them. One thing I'm a bit disappointed about however is that the fly more combo for the mini 2 doesn't include these now, I can sort of see why now that I've got them in my hands and it's gonna become really apparent in a second when I take them out why it's a bit annoying but in comparison this is the drone these propeller guards are actually pretty big and they don't come apart anywhere near as much as I thought so if I take them out of the box you'll realize that they are basically two pieces if I take and put them next to the drone you can see that they are quite a lot taller quite a lot larger quite a lot bigger in general which makes sense but I really figured that these would collapse into smaller pieces but these are pretty big so they don't fit into any kind of carrying solution that's sort of why I kept the box so this wasn't an unboxing or anything like that they actually come in this sort of little plastic bag in the box Reason why I kept the box just to have something clean to put them back in. These aren't easily carrying around when you have to fly the drone. Not that you would really necessarily need things like this when you're flying outdoors. Although there are scenarios I guess where you could probably need it. The reason why I got these is really more to fly indoors to practice my sort of dexterity with flying tight spaces without actually damaging the drone. What I'm gonna do now is gonna move the camera a little bit and attach them on the drone so you can sort of see the installation process. So nothing really complicated here. I'm gonna unbutton this, open up the little drone. So now the mini is pretty much in its flying position. And uh, then these are a little offset so you can easily tell which one goes where. So this one's a little taller, so we'll go on this side. Sort of have to put the front in first because it has to put that leg through. And once that's in there, bring that over, snap those on. One thing that I'm not liking about this, these feel very flimsy. The framing on it is pretty good, but these little clasps that attach on the arms feel very, very flimsy. These hinges there, I have no confidence that they will ever hold up to any kind of abuse. I don't think that would be a problem in flight. It's just installing them and taking them off every so often. I feel like at some point they are kind of bound to break. But anyway, for now, at least they aren't broken. So we're gonna continue enjoying them as is. So clasp that one in there. Take off the camera cover. So now we've got the drone ready to fly. So I'm gonna set that up on the floor and we're gonna go for a little flight where you will be able to enjoy uh, me crashing into basically every part of my house. So we are now ready to fly. So I'm going to turn on the engine. I took the precaution of putting it into cinematic mode just so I don't take this for it. The thing that's interesting, it actually tells you that it detected extra payload. I'm not entirely sure what kind of difference that makes, but um, it makes some difference apparently. But it's detected it, so that's good. I guess the first thing we can try to crash into is the camera. We'll see how that that goes. That's pretty good. It actually refused to hit the camera when it got over the um, the desk. Sort of went up on its own. Let's try to crash it into um, to the ceiling, I guess. Pretty weird is once it hits the ceiling, since it gets a little tilted, it starts spinning a whole lot faster to hold its position. So I guess now's as good a time of any to try to crash it into a guitar, see what happens. That was an unexpected test, but what happened there was the leg of the drum kit actually got in through these, the propellers, which are surprisingly undamaged. And the drone just stopped and fell and it landed basically on the prop guard, so nothing got damaged. Pretty cool. Back to our original test. Got a little confused by that, but 
nothing major. So I guess we can just take it around the house. It's all crashing through the window now. That's possibly the coolest entrance shot anyone's ever made of my house. So that was it guys, that was just a quick try out of the mini two propeller guards. As you can see, they protected the drone from most of the crashes that I've gone through. I've hit walls, things, accidentally hit some of these poles and everything was okay. The propellers were not harmed, they stopped immediately, the drone fell and this stuff provided the cushioning needed for it not to be crashed. So I'm quite happy with the protection that is awarded with this thing. I am a little dubious that they will last for very long, especially with these little latches and hinges in there that I feel are very flimsy. I don't feel like I would need to bring these if I was gonna go flying out and feel something like this. I feel like this is really more protection for when you're flying indoors and learning to fly. And actually quite like having those because it gives me the confidence to try things within the house that help me develop my precision that I wouldn't otherwise really have the courage or the stupidity in some cases to try out. And these sort of give me a level of protection that I feel more comfortable doing things like that, which ultimately hopefully should make me a better pilot down the line. Anyway, that's it for me guys. I don't wanna get this video any longer than it needs to be. It was just a fun little video talking about the propeller guards. Hope you found this useful and interesting make sure to like comment subscribe and i will catch you sunday for my next music video peace guys